overflows acting with awareness Heraclitus says one should not act or speak as if he was asleep all actions need to evolve out of awareness only then transformation is possible the words of the master can bring transformation only if these emerge out of awareness and all your actions whatsoever you perform small big does not matter but these should evolve out of awareness you are taking a shower you are speaking to someone you are driving you are cooking you are making love or dealing with children or your spouse or your employer or your employee all these actions <coughs> and words need to evolve out of awareness <coughs> and when this happens the process of transformation begins act speak and do anything with full awareness then you will find a tremendous change in you certainly you will find tremendous change in you the very fact that you are aware changes the quality of your act your dealings how you relate with the people your awareness changes the very quality of your acts actions then you cannot commit sin not that you have to control yourself no control is a poor substitute for awareness that is what we have known a very poor substitute that cannot help much if you are aware you need not control your anger in awareness anger does not arise in awareness anger does not arise they cannot exist together awareness and anger it is like day and night it is like truth and falsehood the absence of one is the presence of the other there is no coexistence for them in awareness jealousy never arises if there is jealousy it means you are unconscious and you are asleep in awareness many things simply disappear it is like a lamp is lit and its light its illumination is incandescent around you and all that jealousy anger this and that disappears all the things which are negative simply dissolves in the pool of awareness it is just like a light when the light is in your house how can darkness exist there it simply escapes out when your house is lighted how can you stumble how can you knock at the wall the light is there you know where is the door you simply reach the door to get out or to get in when there is darkness you stumble you group and you fall you falter darkness represents ignorance and unawareness 
Darkness represents ignorance and unawareness. Anger is nothing but stumbling. Jealousy is nothing but grouping in darkness. All that is wrong is wrong. Not because of itself, but because you are living in darkness. You are unconscious. If a Jesus wants to get angry, he can certainly use anger. You cannot use it instead. You are being used, constantly being used by anger. If Jesus feels that it will be good and helpful to be angry, he can use anything as he is a master of master. And to be a master means to live in awareness and out of awareness. Jesus can be angry without being angry. A Raman can be angry without being angry on the surface, angry as you know. Many people worked with Gurdjieff and he was a terrible man. When he was angry, he would be terribly angry. He would look like a murderer. But that was just a game, just a game just a situation to help someone and immediately not a single moment's gap would there be Gurdjieff would look at another person and he would be smiling this used to happen Gurdjieff is in the room with people Someone door opens, someone flutters in. Gurdjieff will look at the person in a way that the person will get afraid. The next moment he will turn his face towards the other and smile. We do these things also. You are talking to your spouse, you are angry. Next moment, you look at another person comes in. You and your spouse are constantly in a bout angry. All of a sudden, there is a knock at the door and your neighbor comes in. Both of you will be smiling at one another and talk to the neighbor as if they are lovebirds. This is acting on your behalf. Deep down there is a turmoil, but on the surface you are acting. Gurdjieff was a master of that, and he would look again at the same person towards whom he was angry, and he would be angry and looking terrible. It is possible when you are aware, you can use everything. I give you a simple example. There are very sharp knives. There is fire, there is stove. If you are aware how to use these, in the hands of a master chef, a sharp knife is a blessing. He would never use a blunt knife to cut or shred the vegetables. The blunt knife will cause damage. On the contrary, a very sharp knife is needed. And as a chef, I do not like the dull knives into my kitchen. Because when you are shredding the vegetables or cutting in a different format, chiffonade or shredding or any other format you need a very sharp knife because your hands are moving like a machine and you can keep your eyes blindfolded and you will never get 
damaged with, with a blunt knife, you can get it damaged. But the novice will not like to use a sharp knife because he does not know, he is not aware. It is possible when you are aware, you can use everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. Even poison becomes elixir when you are aware. And when you are asleep, even elixir, even nectar becomes poison. Because the whole thing depends on your being alert or not. Acts do not mean anything. Acts do not matter. You, your awareness, your being conscious, your being mindful is what? that matters. What you do is not the concern. What is not the concern? How is the concern? This is why people do not understand the master, their ways and methodologies. When I say something to a particular person, he does not understand what is the meaning, what is the essentiality of it what is the need of it this is why people do not understand the master their ways and methodologies only when there is a transformation then they cannot even relate that this happened because of this simple thing simple technique simple act so enough for now Live in awareness, out of awareness. Enough for now.